phenomenon. But the second priority I want to mention, which is equal to the first, is to promote the blue economy. So Michael, the work that you've been doing with this community has been heard, and we've been trying to help make visible the blue economy for some time. It is now the agency's priority. It's one of two priorities to promote the blue economy. So we're on is the ocean age. Let me explain why. Just look at some of the numbers. Over the last 25 years, maritime activity has increased around the world 400%. Uh, you all know the numbers. 70% of the earth is covered by water. 80% of the world's population lives near it. 90% of all trade goes over it, and 99% of all the information goes under the ocean via undersea cables. So that's, that's that. And then you have the fact that one half of US territory is underwater in our exclusive economic zones. And that coastal regions are home to 40% of the population, 120 million. And those regions are the fastest growing in the country. Think about this, since 1980, uh, the average population increase around the country has been, uh, in the interior, has been 26 people per square mile. That number for the coast, times that by five, it's 160. So the coast are growing, ocean activity is growing, our dependence on the oceans is growing, and this Blue Tech Conference couldn't come at a better time. So your takeaway is this, as the ocean grows more and more important, and uh, just try, this is what I want you to remember out of my talk. Um, that so does the potential for it to do great things for our country and our people. And so as the administration has prioritized returning to space, represented uh, here on the, on the left by the Space Launch System of NASA, uh, this administration is also refocusing towards the oceans through NOAA and our work in Blue Tech. And that's represented by our Deep Discover ROV you see there on the right, which right now, as of this minute, is diving about 1,500 feet below the surface just off Puerto Rico.